Welcome to my first New York City vlog where we explore the city, take in the magnificent buildings and enjoy the liveliness of the city that never sleeps. First day in New York City. It is 10 o'clock, I think. We got a bagel, of course, to start the day. We're walking to Soho now. And I feel like we're going to get a coffee, just walk around. Today's gonna be very hot too. It's gonna be 35 degrees, something like that. But yeah, first impression. I'm just amazing. Yeah, it's just crazy. It's all a bit crazy. Despite being slightly jet lagged, we made a bold decision to walk pretty much everywhere on our first day, determined to experience every corner above ground. At every turn, our eyes feasted upon the boundless beauty and architecture of the city. Every street we beheld showed a breathtaking view and an unending expanse of buildings that stretched as far as our eyes could see. Taking a break from our explorations, we stopped at a bar in Little Italy and we indulged in a well-deserved treat, a refreshing cocktail for me and a beer for David. Then we headed to dinner where I ordered this insane jungle curry and drunken noodles for David. We were extremely tired walking 25 kilometers, so we headed back to the Airbnb for some well-deserved rest. And as we got home, it started pouring rain, a perfect way to end our first day. Quickly going to do my skincare, get ready. Mm, I thought it would be fun to share a bit of my thoughts about New York City. New York has been one of the places that I've been wanting to go to for so, so long. It is truly a dream coming true for me to be here. We're just walking in random streets and every time I'm like, I cannot believe that we're here. I feel so blessed and grateful to be here because I think I've shown you guys my mood boards before but if you didn't know every once in a while every few months I make a mood board I use it as a screensaver on my laptop and my phone I create a vision of how I want my upcoming months to be if I have a specific goal I will put something related to that goal on it as well so for example when I wanted to get an internship at WWF I put the W WWF logo on my mood board. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that I actually did do an internship at WWF. And for the longest time, I've been putting New York, uh, just a picture of New York on my, my vision board. In the beginning of this year, I literally, I wrote down in my journal, like, I want to go to New York this year. And now we're here and 
to me it's just crazy because like the law of attraction that it really works and obviously I am the person who booked this trip so in the end you do need to take action yourself but still it's just crazy to me that now we are able to be here so yeah most of all I just feel very lucky and happy to be here obviously and then the city itself I didn't find it that overwhelming I am in awe with the city every street that I look at I'm like whoa yeah I also find the people very friendly too I think that New Yorkers have this that they're not the friendliest but so far I haven't really experienced that what is funny is that every time I visit a place the way I decide whether I like the place or not is I always ask myself do I want to live here which isn't always the you don't have to live in every place you're visiting and a place can be very beautiful but you don't necessarily have to have to live it live there yeah it's just something that I always ask myself like do I do I see myself living here and I thought and I think a lot of people that know me thought this as well like I would go here and just be like oh my god I see myself moving here but yesterday we were talking about this and I don't really see myself living here which it's unexpected. For example, yesterday was very overstimulated, and I think that's that's just because this this city is on a different level. <laughs> yeah, that's also because we David just said we're we're going. Obviously, we're seeing the the touristy spots as well because this is my first time here. David has been here before, but for me it's the first time. So obviously, you're going to the crowded touristy places as well, and it's easy to get overstimulated there. But I can say a lot more, but honestly, I do think that we kind of need to hurry up because I'm starting to get hungry. And the only thing I did so far was my skincare. <laughs> so right now I'm going to finish my makeup and then we're gonna go to get breakfast at this bakery. This is the outfit of today. Wearing Birkenstocks because our feet have been suffering. Um, so I wanna have my comfy Birkenstocks. Vintage Armani jeans and this long sleeve from weekday. Why? <laughs> Is that a no? No. All right then, let's go get some breakfast. What better way to start a Sunday than with a pastry? This morning we started in Williamsburg where we found a fully vegan bakery. I always get overwhelmed in fully vegan places and it makes me want to try everything. But whenever I see an almond croissant, I just can't resist it. We had our almond croissant. I am so full. I have a bit of a tummy ache. But it was so good that I had to finish finish it. Now we're walking to the start of the high line because we want to walk the full thing and then after that we're gonna go and do a bit of um, shopping. Just walk. eating. More walking, more eating. It's the only thing we, we do. We walk, we eat, we shop and barely any sleep. Huh? Nine, nine hours. It's a lot. We didn't sleep nine hours. In total. Yeah, you did. I didn't, but it's fine. Okay, it's a sunny day, so we're happy. <laughs> Lots of dogs too. The High Line is a public park built on a historic rail line elevated above the streets, providing beautiful views of Manhattan while strolling through the gardens. idea what time it is actually I really have no idea Tino Paul. whoa it's 2 40 already um, and we just passed Washington Square Park which was very crowded and it looks really fun we're going to get a bagel now because we haven't had lunch yet 
I had I had to take some time to recover from the almond croissant this morning. But I'm fully recovered and I'm ready for a bagel. So I'm gonna get one and then go back to the park. Mm -hmm. Sit down, enjoy the sun for, for a bit. Got the bagels. Woo! Let's start with some water because we are not drinking enough water. Whenever we're traveling, I appreciate water in the Netherlands more because it's such a luxury to be able to drink water out of a... It's such a blessing to be able to drink tap water. Water out of the crane. <laughs> water out of the crane. Anywhere you go. I feel like Dutch wa water is just the best water. It's, it tastes good too. Whenever we're traveling and you drink tap water, it just tastes like floral. I also bought a Celsius because I always see people drinking this. Never tasted it myself before. Ah, ooh, oh my God. See? I bought strawberry lemonade. Ooh, it stinks. What is it? Citroen? This is a sort of energy drink. How is it then? I want to try it. Anyways, let's do a little Glossier haul. Today we went to quite a few stores. I've been trying to hold myself back with shopping because I love buying clothes, but I'm trying not to buy clothes anymore. I'm trying to buy like more like small businesses or a bit more sustainable brands or secondhand. Also, it's just expensive. I have quite a busy travel schedule this summer, which is very exciting, but just traveling on itself and being here on itself is already pretty expensive. So I'm trying not to buy too many unnecessary things, but Glossier is necessary because we don't have this in the Netherlands and they don't ship to the Netherlands either. So whenever I'm in a country that has a Glossier store, I need to buy my products because I love this brand and I wish they shipped to the Netherlands too. Can confirm. Yeah, they can confirm. So today I still have the foundation and I still have my concealer. So I didn't have to buy that. I did get the cloud paint in the color Beam. So beautiful. And I also got the solar paint bronzer in the shade Flare. So pretty. And then what I'm most, most excited about is I finally, finally got the Future Do. This is the most beautiful makeup product I've ever seen in my entire life. This on itself, it makes you look so glowy. And I wish I could show it, but the lighting is just terrible. I'm not gonna do it now, but this is so beautiful it gives you this really glowy hydrated look and last time when i was in london they didn't have it and they just never seem to have it whenever i'm in a store and then i went to a few sephora's didn't have it there um i get it i get why it's always sold out or it, at least in stores and then you can obviously order it on their website but they don't ship to the netherlands so I was so, so happy that they finally had it. Last but not least, I decided to buy the makeup bag. Because I've been using a really old, gross makeup bag for a long time. And I just wanted a prettier makeup bag. So, so, so pretty. Oh, I just love it. I love, love, love crochet. That was my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, David got a bag, really nice actually. It's from Uniqlo. It's really cool. It's like a crossbody bag. Mm -hmm. And then it had, yeah, very convenient. Really cool. From gym. For the gym, beach. going to the beach. And then this, and you wear it like this. Yeah, like a crossbody strap. 
yeah we were exhausted so we decided to come back to the airbnb we don't know what we're gonna do for dinner but it's probably gonna be something quick and easy but yeah i'm gonna chill for now and then i'll catch up with you later Okay, we decided to stay in and order food. I got a... It's a breakfast burrito, actually. They've got nachos. No. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Nice. And a breakfast burrito. We ordered this from a vegan Mexican place. Can you give me some? Oh, it smells good. What is it? Smell it. How much does chipotle show? Yeah. It's chipotle. Guys, I've been eating chalantro. Sometimes I still pick it out, but overall, I try to eat it. After a lot of first impressions and walking many kilometers, we felt happy and content with our first weekend in New York City. We ended the evening feeling excited for our remaining time where I fell in love with the city more and more each day. Thank you for watching this first New York City vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I cannot wait to show you more in the next vlog.